Hi, we're here at the training facility. Uh, please keep in mind these videos are for licensed contractors, not homeowners. Also, you must shut off gas and electric prior to making any repairs. With us today is Ken Resnick of Rath Associates. How are you doing, Ken? Very well, thank you. In this video, we will be uh, going through the steps necessary to replace the printed circuit board, the logic board. As you can see, I've already removed the four screws from the cover of the large mascot FT boiler. Remove those four screws with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. And as you can see, here is the printed logic board. There are a series of connectors on the logic board. All of those connectors are keyed to a specific way so that you cannot make a mistake by plugging in a connector in the wrong place. There are two number two Phillips head screws that hold the printed circuit board in place. I've already removed the bottom screw for ease of access. And I'm going to go ahead and loosen that top screw now. That top screw can stay in place, and the printed circuit board slides down. Be careful of your connectors and your wiring. The connectors are held in by locks. Press down on the lock and remove the connector from the printed circuit board. New circuit board in hand, assure that both the fuses are in place. We will make changes to the dip switch settings just to make sure that they are correct for the boiler and the system that we're putting that in for. Again, bottom screw has been taken out just for ease of service for presentation. Tighten up that number two Phillips head screw. and replace the bottom screw on the printed circuit board there. Make sure that none of your wires are pinched in proper place. Make sure when you're putting the connectors in, you push hard and you will hear a physical lock. With the connectors back in place properly, assure that your two hold down screws are good and tight. And your last step to printed circuit board replacement would be to adjust your dip switch settings according to your installation manual and or the sheet that comes in with your service kit. If you have any questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.